right? 20 years old. Woo! The sky is, that, that, that kid's got like prodigy, like that, that, that kid's got crazy, Woo! crazy talent. Crazy, yes. crazy, crazy talent. Hey, Devin, okay. Devin King is really great, but do you think he's ready for going to take a ride right. now? I know Whoa. he's Well, I mean, play. if you're protecting him, no. But he doesn't want protecting And he's 20 years old. Like any promoter who looks at someone like Devin Haney, I don't mind telling you honestly, like, I want to slow them down, but they want to speed up. So Bill and Devin are going to, I'm going to do what Bill and Devin tell me to do. The Prom boxes. promoter probably doesn't want to make that fight right now, but I'll tell you what, you want to hear the fighter wanting it. You want to hear the fighter or just trying to scream it for it. I mean, how, how hard of you when you hear reasons for fighters why they shouldn't be fighting other top guys? That shit pisses me off. I'd rather see a 20 year old kid telling me he wants to fight King Kong because I know what that kid's made of. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to hear this guy calling out Lomachenko. I don't even mind it when he, I, I love Lomachenko. He might be the best fighter on, on, the, on earth. I'll tell you this, he has the best footwork I've ever seen in my life. He's certainly one of the top four fighters in the world. But I want to see a 20 year old kid calling out the best guy in the world. I think that's what he's supposed to do. You know, I, I'm not going to kid George Camposis. Is he ready for Lomachenko? No. He's, he's out there calling him out. I like to see that. Tells me who the kid is. You know, and, and, and Devin Haney's good and he knows he's good. But like, when you look at the lightweight division, who do you rate as better than Devin Haney? Lomachenko, you know, you know like he's pound for pound stock. Tell me another fight. I mean, I rate Luke Campbell as one of the best lightweights in the world. He had a good fight with Lomachenko, but, you know, he lost convincingly. You but know, he's gonna get, this kid's gonna get better and better. Who do you rate at lightweight better than Devin Haney? What are, your I'm sorry, Tiff. what are your thoughts on Tank moving up to 135? Yeah, I mean, if Tank's, I think, look, look, Devin's sparred with Tank many times, and people know what happened there, and I'm sure he'll feed that in. That's a great fight. So, but, would you like to see that happen yeah, in 2020? Uh, of course. Great fight. Tank's going to struggle the more he moves up in weight, in my opinion. I mean, I think he's a phenomenal fighter, uh, <laughs> but I also think he's a featherweight that moved to super featherweight, and now he moves to lightweight. Where he had, and he, at all those divisions, he never really accomplished what he should have accomplished, which is probably being unified in every single division and maybe even being undisputed. But if you look at the current active lightweights, you have to really, you know, again, like talking about, I know Luke Campbell's one of my guys, but I, I, I can't see how you can compare Teofimo Lopez to Devin Haney right now. I, I, think he's, I think he's a different type of, type of fighter. I mean, Lou's got Richard Comey, who he raised very high again. Like, I just think there's so much more to come from Devin. He didn't get out of first gear tonight, let alone get to second gear. You know, and there's there's more levels to go beyond Zara Zara of Delight. But he's 20. 20. I mean we've got guys starting out at 20, 21, 22. Guys are at 1 and 0, 2 and 0, 3 and 0. And this guy's 23 and 0 at 20 years old. And you know what? When I found out about Devin Haney that his dad looks after him. I was just found. Yeah. You know, Lou will tell you, dealing with fathers who represent their kids is a re recipe for disaster. For Bill, it's exactly the opposite. Like, what he did with Devin, taking him to Mexico at 16 on his pro debut, I think he had his first seven or eight fights in Mexico in small, like... Waters quit, Brigham Dow quit, he fought Gary Russell. He's oh, Lomachenko, Lomachenko is a legend. As I said, like you can't compare the two. You can't well, compare the resume. Um, Devin Haney a little too quick. No, I think he boxed the number two in the WBC. Who understand? Not, I wouldn't say he was an elite world level fighter. He's a world class fighter. Made him look like a journeyman. Couldn't win a second of a round. Like that was supposed to be a solid test tonight. And it's not just. I appreciate there's a lot more tests to come. But it's how he's dealing with these. How he's improving. And I just don't think that, at, in terms of current lightweights, there's much more of a tougher test than Lomachenko and Devin Haney. You know, I can't see how we can't give even Lomachenko a great fight. They think they can win. I mean, maybe maybe Lomachenko's unbeatable. Maybe. But you can't, there's no one sitting here that says they wouldn't want to see Lomachenko against Devin Haney. Lomachenko's not unbeatable because we already lost. Yeah, okay. He would be coming five pound heavy in that fight, so leader. But he's a journeyman. He's a journeyman, it's a bit harsh. I got so we got a so so journeyman. Salido's a journeyman. Well, oh, don't say that in Mexico, you get shot. Eddie, <laughs> 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 so with, uh, with Devin Haney as the mandatory challenger, 